Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you some tips, tricks, and some really cool things that you can do using a tape measure. Most people think that a tape measure is just used to measure from A to B, which it is for that, but there's also quite a few things that you can do using this tape measure that's going to make your projects a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about on tape measures is the hook. A lot of people notice that their hook slides back and forth, and that's actually by design. A lot of people actually think it's broken, but it's supposed to do that. And the reason for that is for outside and inside measurements. On an outside measurement, which is what most people do, they place the hook over the edge of a piece of board, pull the tape measure out, and get their measurement. Well, what happens is when you hook that over the edge of the board, it pulls that hook out, and now there's a gap in between the inside portion of the hook and the tape itself. To measure from one inch to the end of the tape on this tape measure is 11 16 inch. So that extra gap right there to the inside is what then makes it up to an inch. Conversely, if I wanna find an inside measurement, what I'm gonna do is let's say this is a wall, I'm trying to find a place on the floor as far as measuring it out. I'm gonna take my tape measure, I'm gonna push it up against the wall. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna push this hook in, which is going to fill that gap so that now we can get our measurement from the outside portion of the hook and our measurement be accurate. So we're just pushing it up against there and now we're going to get an accurate measurement. Now talking about the hook again, you'll see here where I wouldn't say it's serrated, but there's an indention here. That is also by design. So let's say I can't find one of my million shot pencils to make a mark. What I can do is get my measurement on my board. So in this case, let's say five inches. So I've got my measurement here on the edge of the board and I've got a finger then also that will run up against the board. And then I'll take my other hand and just push down on the hook and slide the tape measure down across the board. And that will leave an impression so I know exactly where to cut or insert my screw. Now the next tip also involves the hook. And at the end of the hook, you'll see this hole here. That hole is also there by design. That is so that you can insert a nail or a screw in a board at any point and get a measurement then to, of course, any point on the board. So for this next tip, I wanna find the middle of this board. So typically what people do is they'll measure out the full length of the board and divide by two. In this case, it is nine and three quarters inches. So instead of trying to figure out what half of nine and three quarters is, what I can quickly do is just tilt my tape measure over to the nearest whole number, which is going to be 10. Once I get the 10 inches to the edge of the board, I'll then just hold my tape measure in place. And of course, half of 10 is five. So I'll just make my mark at the five. So I'm gonna tilt this over to the side so it's easier to see. So then when I measure it from this way, I get four and seven eighths. When I measure it from this direction, I also get four and seven eighths. So that is the easiest way to find the middle of a board with a tape measure. So for this next tip, what I wanna do is I wanna turn the tape measure over on the back side, and almost every tape measure will have this, where if you can see here, this says two and three quarters inches. And what that's referring to is this tape measure from here to here is two and three quarter inches long. So we can use that to measure things. So imagine we want to find the distance between two fixed points, as if these maybe are walls, for instance. And what most people will do in order to find that distance is they'll take their tape measure, put it up against the first wall, and then they'll take out extra tape and put it down against the second wall like so. And you'll get a pretty good idea as to how far the distance is on this, but it might not be exact. So if you want to find the exact distance, instead of rolling the tape up the wall, you put your tape measure, the hook up against the first wall, and then pull it all the way out until it meets the second wall, lock it into place. And so you can see on the tape measure, I have 12 and one quarter inches. And since the measurement from there to the tape measure is 12 and one quarter inches, and the width of the tape measure is two and three quarter inches, if you add those two together, it's a total of 15 inches between that point and this point. Another easy way of making a line across the board is get your measurement, put your pencil against the edge of the tape measure, and then just slide your tape measure along the edge of the board with the pencil up against it. Now, many people don't realize that there's actually a lot more to a tape measure as far as the markings on it that really give you a lot of really good information when doing different projects. For instance, you may have noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed on your tape measure, every 16 inches, so 16, 32, 48, so on and so forth, you're going to see a red rectangle or a red square. And what that's designating is in the United States, our studs for the most part are 16 inches on center. 
So those red squares and rectangles are really just helping with the layout and getting those studs in place where they're supposed to be as quickly as possible. And along with the red rectangles or squares, you also have these lines with the triangles on top pointing to exactly where 16 inches is. Now another marking that's on a tape measure that probably most people don't even realize is there, let alone know what it's for, are the black diamonds. And you're going to find these at every 19.2 inches. So 19.2, then 38.4, and so on and so forth, all the way up to eight foot. And the reason for these diamonds, these black diamonds, is generally for floor joists in the United States. The floor joists are generally gonna be about 19.2 inches from each other. And the reason why it goes up to eight foot on a tape measure is because most of our sheet goods in the United States are an eight foot long section. So if you divide that by five to get an equal measurement, you come up with 19.2 inches. All right, so another tip that I found to be very useful, especially when framing things up, not necessarily doing like fine woodworking, but to find half of whatever my measurement is quickly, I just take my measurement, and let's say that my measurement is three feet, so 36 inches. So in order to find half of 36 inches quickly, which of course we know that half of three foot is a foot and a half, but just for example purposes and so it can fit on the camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my three foot, I'm gonna take the tape measure, and I'm gonna bend it in half and I'm gonna take the end of the tape measure, line it up with that 36 inches or whatever my measurement is, like so, and then I'm just gonna look at whatever is in the middle of my bend at the top, which as you can see is 18 inches, or in other words, a foot and a half. So you can do that with any measurement, it doesn't matter how long or short it is. So hopefully you picked up on some things that you can use on your projects going forward. If it was helpful for you, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like videos like I did here today, consider hitting that red subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.